My name is Grace, I'm 18 and I'm addicted to lying. Grace is mostly known as Graciously Grace on YouTube. Her addiction started when she was 8 years old. She is addicted to lying and she has been doing that ever since she was 8. I am very confused. I remember that day like it was yesterday, you know. I wanted to get a glass of water to drink. The next thing I know, the glass slipped and then it broke. And I was like, uh -uh, I ain't about to get in trouble. Mm -mm. I remember her lying straight up to my face. So I blamed it on my brother and it actually worked. It was her first lie, first ever lie. She lied to me. She told me it was her brother who broke the glass, so it was her. And I blamed her brother. She was so believable. You see, lying is a form of addiction. You try it the first time it works, the second time it works, third time, and then it becomes a habit. You know, you can't stop what you can't stop. It's like the best feeling is fooling people. Most of my best lies were created here. You know, I just like staring at the ocean. I'm in the lake and just breathe. You know? But then at the end, when you think about it, you're not fooling anyone, you're fooling yourself. And it's sad. Uh, it's life, you know, it is what it is, like my dad says all the time. Over the past few years, this addiction had Grace out of control. Due to her serial lies, she is now homeless, friendless, and has a bad reputation. I lie every day, every second, every hour. At that moment, I realized that she was possessed, so I, I kicked her out of my house. I don't understand how she does it, and when she doesn't lie, she's not happy. Yet yeah, it's bad, but I still do it. You know, it provides me a sense of happiness. It has become a must, not a choice. She never realizes that what she does to others, others can do it to her. And it's all fun and games until karma hits you. If I tell you a lie, then I can't tell you the truth. And if I tell you the truth, then I can't tell you a lie. But what if I tell you that I'm lying? Does that mean I'm telling you the truth? She lies and she's believable. Gracie is that one person who scares me a lot. Those type of people should go to jail or those type, yes, my daughter should go to jail. Hey, sh I even have lying hours. 5 a.m. and 5 p.m., those are the times I must lie. I like to come here when I'm running out of lies, you know, to find something more inspiring to say. I just like staring at the lake sometimes, you know, it gives me inspiration. And if I don't find something to lie about, I lie to myself. I never really trusted Grace because every time she'll tell me she's on her way, she's never on her way. No, 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 no. I, no, I'm not sleeping. I'm on my way. Yeah, in 10 minutes you should see me. Sure. And I'm like, you don't need to lie. My addiction has become so weird to an extent that when I tell the truth, people think I'm lying and I'm like, I'm not. And when I lie, people think I'm telling the truth and I'm like, I'm lying. Every time I tell her, take control of your nasty mouth because it will kill her one day and she's not believing me. It hurts. As a mother, to say that it, it hurts, you know, you think you give birth to a beautiful child and that beautiful child turns out to be a liar and, you know, a devil. And, she can't stop. It's who she is. 